race you the next one. I love Surfside. It's a little strange. My dad says you're never too old to use your imagination. You're also never too young to use your brain. Look, this coin is element 79. Also known as gold, the cursed treasure. I don't know about cursed, but this is definitely treasure. There's something going on in Surfside, but you might be able to get to the bottom of it. Peligro. What's that mean? Danger. Uh, salutations. Are you an actual ghost? My mates call me Remy. Is that? Definitely not a buoy. So we've got a pirate ghost, cursed treasure, and a booby trapped room. That's not a sentence you hear every day. If we don't solve the mystery, ancient evil will be unleashed. Also, a sentence you don't hear every day. How does it all connect? It's a total mystery. No way! Jade has these new friends. We're really different, but no one gets me like Sam does. You two think outside the box. And over time, you'll come to appreciate that. It's good to be a little strange. I am strange. Me too, dude. I'll say. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. I'm Joe Vinorni. Uh, Surfside Girls is a new show uh, premiering exclusively on Apple TV Plus Friday, August 19th. Today, we are joined by three of the key people responsible for Surfside Girls. We have the showrunner, uh, uh, Mae Chan, and then we have two of the cast members, uh, Yaya Goslin, who plays Sam, and Mia Chek, who plays Jade. Uh, Mia, Yaya, May, welcome to Cherry the Geek TV. Thank you for Hi. having us. May, I, was, uh, I want to start with you. Uh, give people a sense of what Surfside Girls is. I know it's based on a uh, graphic novel from Top Shelf and IDW. Uh, tell people uh, how, uh, kind of what the story is of Surfside Girls and how you became involved and, and what appealed to you about the project. Yeah, uh, so Surfside Girls is, um, is essentially about two girls uh, played by Mia and Yaya. Um, who are best friends and surf, and they are at the crossroads of their friendship, um, where, you know, they're about, this, it's the summer before they're entering middle school, and while they've been best friends their whole life, they, they're starting to wonder if maybe the uh, differences in their personalities are splitting them apart, but they come upon this mystery in their town of Surfside, and um, they they realize that together they can you know solve what it is, and that's essentially Surfside Girls. The uh, how closely does the story of the show follow the graphic novels? Is it is it, a, is it an adaption of of the graphic novel, or, or are you your own you know taking the characters and doing your own thing with your own mystery? We uh, the characters are the same um, in terms of of uh, Jade played by Mia and um, Sam played by Yaya. Um, and, it, and the town of Surfside is, is a small, sleepy beachside town. Um, but in terms of the mystery, it, we've, we, we took what was the kernel of a story and built it out into a 10 episode kind of Goonies-like adventure. So it's one mystery uh, over the course of, of the full season. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. What is the mystery? Kind of give people a peek into a little tease the mystery. What is the mystery that Sam and Jade are exploring this first season? So <laughs> they come upon a, um, a legend of their town of this uh, pirate ship that, that had run aground uh, in search of treasure. And it turns out, we set up that it, it's, it's a legend and lore and Jay doesn't believe in it, but but Sam does. And what we find out in the pilot is that it it actually existed, and not just that, but there's a, a ghost and a ghost pirate ship that has basically been beached in this secluded part of uh, Surfside Beach. And um, without giving too much away, there's there's a, a mystery to why it's stuck there. Um, Mia and Yaya, why don't you uh, give us a, uh, a look at uh, your characters, kind of tell, tell us who are Sam and Jade and, and what do you like about, about playing those characters? Uh, yeah. 
Do you want to go first? <laughs> sure, <laughs> why not? Um, so uh, my character, Sam, um, is this very adventurous. Uh, she is kind of wild and free, um, loves to surf, loves to surf with her best friend, Jade. Um, and yeah, she kind of very much is like a just does it like doesn't really think she very much like trusts her gut and her intuition um and she is determined to solve this mystery and yeah save her town yeah and jade is this um very smart very science um intelligent she is part of actually a science camp she's you know, she's like Sam in the way that they both love surfing. They both love their town very much. But she's also a little different from Sam in the ways that she kind of trusts logic more than her her instincts. She's very science-based. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I loved playing a character that was not only just like super smart, because I'm also a science nerd, not only a science nerd and super smart, but also she was a fashionista. She loves experimenting with different colors and patterns. And I got to wear a lot of fun outfits and do a lot of fun <laughs> hairstyles. So that was super fun. Uh, May, what was it about Amia and Yaya that that uh, that you saw? Like these these are the girls that are that are right for these characters. What did they what did they bring to their? Um, I mean, it's funny when you sort of write these characters, you. And, and they nailed it, you know, Jade is the, the logical science one, but also a social butterfly and a fashionista. And then Sam is your wild imagination. If you can think it, you can be it. Um, and we really, you know, cast a wide net searching for two actors that can embody these characters. And when they, you know, they auditioned it, 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 they just fit both those parts, you know, like Mia is the, the very, I think, <laughs> smart, logical, but also a social butterfly. And I think Yaya is also a sort of wild imagination, <laughs> um, but also a little, little shy sometimes, mm -hmm. right? It yeah. takes a little bit to, yeah. to warm up, um, which is, which is um, Sam's character. Mm -hmm. So they just, you know, it wasn't like, I think they just embody those characters and, and played it so well. What are some of the highlights of filming this first season? I can imagine that the fact that it's set in a, a beach beach town that you get you get to spend a lot of time uh, <laughs> when you're shooting outdoors by the beach. Is that fun? Is that like a, an actor's dream? Like, hey, we're hanging out at the beach all day, or does uh, it get? Or after a few days, is it like, oh man, we want to go was back the first, inside? Like the, the first, first day, two days. <laughs> yeah, the first two days were, were at the amazing. Beach. So I think you're gonna out <laughs> us in terms yeah. of the movie magic. So we had two days on the beach out of our what is it like 50 day shoot, yeah. um, and then the rest of it was in the sound. It was in a, on a lot uh, out in Simi Valley, uh, California, which is about as far away from the beach as yeah. you can get. <laughs> we um, we built this boardwalk in this <laughs> dirt lot. And, um, you know, it was windy, like the beach. Yeah, <laughs> it was sand until the sand would sand. become yeah. water. And then yes. there was no water. Yes. And then, you know, there was the lovely smell of horse manure because there was a horse There's property a horse right behind it. Um, so, yeah, we definitely had to use our imaginations a little bit, but it, it was it was great getting. Yeah, there. yeah, it yeah. was. I mean. I can't wait to see all like the outtakes and blooper yes. reels. It's oh my, my God, favorite I part. So hope that there's a blooper reel. Because there were just, I mean, it's really me, Yaya, and um, Spencer Hermes Rebella who plays Remy. Yeah. And so it's just us three kids, and we kind of had to really find ways to, after doing scenes 50 million times, yeah. to really bring a certain amount of life to it. And like, we're just doing this for the first time. This is exciting. Yeah. And, um, one of my favorite parts personally was getting to work with a different director for every two episodes, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We worked with about five different directors, which was incredible to me because um, I, I want to look into directing as a career choice, hopefully. And so getting to see like how different everybody's style was and getting to see how they would change certain things and totally. how we got just kind of got to experiment within the characters was really incredible. Yeah. 
Well, we are sadly out of time. I, I wish we could chat more. I know you said that uh, uh, you mentioned at the beginning that uh, you were going for a Goonies vibe. We were watching the pilot episode last night. And my wife said, oh, this, this feels like the Goonies. So I think <laughs> you, you hit the, hit, the nail on the head there. You, you achieved your goal. Uh, all episodes of Surfside Girls uh, drop exclusively on Apple TV Plus Friday, August 19th. Uh, Yaya, Mia, and May, thank you again so much for chatting with us today on Charity Geek TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.